Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to my channel. This is Cindy on Nets of Hope. Um, I want to start off this video with just letting you know that the Lord showed me on 1-11 that there's going to be a pole shift and the pole shift is a very strong thing that's going to happen upon the earth and I asked for confirmations of when um, it was going to happen and I've been led to the many visions that he's given me things he's shown me that all have to do with World War III anyway I want to pray so many things have been shown to me and so many things are strong they're very strong and my life is changing more and more by the day my mind is maturing and changing more and more by the day as to what God is going to allow to happen and what is happening right now guys so let me pray and let me get busy reading to you um, what he has placed on my heart to show you about pole shift and a time frame of when it will happen dear heavenly father lord i just I come before you father and i ask lord that you would sink this message into my brothers and sisters hearts and minds and lord i pray that they would understand that we are in a time of such great evilness upon the earth from satan and from the sons and daughters of satan they are the elite they are those that feel like they are the gods of this world and they control everything that goes on everything that is done from nation to nation they control the laws the schools everything the health care the money they control slavery of not allowing minimum wage to raise and this is the money that they have stolen from us all the generations of our life and the lives of those before us, our families, our friends, our church members. They have stolen greatly, but greatly will you return because the kingdom's work is going to be great and we're all going to be needed to be a part of it. And we all need to come to you, Father, with a humble heart, bow down, and begin to seek your face as to what you want us to do for our lives. I love you, Father, and I ask that you would help me to give this message and help me to help my brothers and sisters understand how strong the warning is and that they need to get off the coastlines and they need to get out of big cities and they need to do it now before March rolls in. And I ask my Father that they would not only listen to me, but listen to Mary, God's handmaiden, listen to Danielle, Jesus and Georgia, listen to King of Glory Ministries, listen to Holy Spirit Wind, and God's Healer Seven End Time Prophecies. Listen to a servant's heart. Listen to latter rain. There are so many, the list could go on, but I know that these are channels, Lord, except for, I think, Holy Spirit when that will have safe havens that you are rising up, including myself. I pray that my brothers and sisters, that you would deal with their hearts daily, sprinkle their hearts and minds clean, Father, of any and all deepest, darkest spots in their hearts and in their minds, Lord, and purge the blood of Jesus upon them, Lord. Forgive them of their sins. I plead the blood of Jesus upon them, Father. I decree and declare, Lord, that you would help them to wake up. Help them to have a God sense beyond their fleshly senses that they need to get to safety or they will face the things that are coming upon the ocean and upon the big cities with lawlessness. I love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Lord showed me pole shift. He showed me the earth flipping two times. That means there will be two pole shifts. I have believed, along with Gil Broussard, 
because the Father showed me one particular video from the Holy Spirit in the beginning, and that was the interview of the video with Gil Broussard and Augusto Perez, part one and two. They have condensed it into one video. It's one hour and 46 minutes and like 40 to 56 minutes, something like that. Watch it. It's very important. It talks about two raptures that he has found biblical documents in Israel and um, throughout our American Bibles, he has found information to lead to two raptures. The rapture of the first fruits, which are those dead in Christ. If you were to go to Thessalonians uh, and you read that particular scripture, um, you will find that it says, and then after the dead in Christ has been risen, then it, then it uses the word then. Um, I just want to look at that real fast. Uh, so it says, um, for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. If you were to stop right there, that's one rapture. Then if you look at verse 17 of 1 Thessalonians 4, then if you look at verse 17, this is the words he uses. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore comfort one another with these words. I don't believe the Lord God is going to allow the little children that belong to us to be left here to endure such great wrath that's coming for the great white harvest and for the harvest of the children of Israel, which would be for a three and a half year period. Okay, so I just want you to be thinking about that. Anyway, back to pole shift. He showed me the pole would shift twice and... Um, I prayed and I said, Lord, give me confirmation. When will this happen? The confirmation he gives me matches the information about a city on fire, a great city on fire. It matches the economy crashing. And it matches these people being tossed like they were in a dryer. Then I'm led to Luke 21 verses 25 and 26 and I have seen the sea black and furious raging and I have seen tsunamis like the largest mountains on the face of the earth they were huge in size but they were made of water okay uh, verse 25 of Luke 21 says there will be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and the earth dismay among nations in perplexity at the roaring of the sea and the waves verse 26 men fainting from fear the fear and the expectation of the things which are coming upon the world and the powers of the heavens will be shaken this will happen guys prior to Luke 21 verses 27 and it says this then they will see the son of man coming in the cloud with power and great glory okay so i wanted to share that with you so the confirmation of what i prayed i said lord when will this happen what it what kind of sign what can i look for that this pole shift will happen and he showed me that two people would be just walking naturally as if nothing is changing that the world will be normal the one person that was a woman was wearing a short skirt all the way up to the back thigh right near the buttocks and the other person was a man wearing slacks and a long sleeve shirt so i feel like that he's showing me and hers was a sweater like garment that it's going to be still in a month of coldness 
but yet these people felt very comfortable to go out and about without a jacket on and they just had other clothing to keep them warm. The next thing that he showed me was half of a building. In other words, here's the building on this side of the vision. I'm not allowed to see what hits the building on this side. And I asked him a question after I saw that vision. Why wasn't I allowed to see what um, happened? And he showed me one peanut in the midst of thousands and thousands of peanuts that what he's showing me is just one piece of the puzzle. He's not going to give it all to me. So what he showed me about this building is this building would be flying apart and parts of the building would literally be on fire flying out into the streets when the pole shift happens. And he showed me an ice bin of ice. Lots of ice is coming with this pole shift. That's all the information I'm going to release to you right now on this video. I love you. Please bear with me. I've got to get a second job. Um, I'm seeking the Lord because I can't do the task at home if I get a second job. Uh, I've been asking for help on my channel, and I want to praise the Lord right now for those of you that have helped me. I've caught up my November rent and my December rent, um, and then I had a lady send me uh, 50 pounds from the UK, and I praise the Lord for what you have done. I have had others that have sent money um, that has been uh, an overwhelming blessing. I was not expecting um, such a blessing. And that money I am keeping to the side and I am praying and asking my Lord, what does he want me to do with that? I don't want to pay all of my bills. Uh, I want to make sure that he is in charge of everything I do with every dime, every dollar, because I'm also setting money aside for Vivian. I'm also setting money aside for Kevin, and I'm trying to uh, help these people on my channel. Vivian is going to be helping me with the safe havens. I'm asking that you continue to bless this channel, that we might raise the money that she needs for a motel and food. We've got the airplane tickets paid for, but we're waiting on the Lord for him to give her a day and a time to get out and leave. He is bending back time right now, and he is trying to show her some things as well as myself. Okay, so I'm trying to slow down um, like the Lord showed Mary. I'm trying to slow down, um, but I will tell you, brothers and sisters, it grieves my soul to not have money to go and make some flyers that I could make two-sided, guys, and go from car to car, business to business, and put it out. But I can't do that because I still need to finish the task at home that the Lord is showing me. I must get done, and I've got to get it done quickly. But I'm hurting, guys. I'm hurting with car troubles. I'm hurting with bills still. And uh, But I'm just grieving deep in my soul. There's so much I want to do for the Lord, but I know I need to do these other things. And I'm burdened financially. And again, I just praise the Lord for your loving kindness and your help. Thank you. If you wish to donate to this channel, I praise the Lord for your donations. I praise the Lord for your help continually to help me to get Vivian money stacked up uh, that we could have money for a motel room. And Vivian wants to drive. Vivian wants to get a Texas driver's license. She wants to get a car so she can work and work her own way to pay her room and board for a motel room. But will you help me to help her get over here? And um, she will be leaving soon to come down in March. Uh, I would like to see her come sooner, uh, but we're waiting on the Lord to guide us and direct us. And I just, we want to encourage you to pray for us. And again, I just praise the Lord for what he is showing us. Um, guys, we need to wake up. We need to pray. You need to get off the coastlines. You need to get out of large cities and you need to heed these warnings. And, uh, I cannot stress to you enough how you need to heed these warnings. If you wait too late, your life could be snuffed out early. 
And did not God say to Lot to get out of the city of Sodom and Gomorrah? Should we test the Lord God on all these warnings, guys, to get off the coastlines and to get out of large cities? Don't you want to come to the safe havens where the Lord God himself can protect you? You need to be thinking about that. You need to be praying about that. Or do you want to be left alone in your home where you don't know who's going to break in overnight if you're all by yourself and there's no other brothers and sisters to help protect you, watch over you, and y'all can fight and pray together. You need to open the doors to your homes, guys, and help us to help these people on the coastlines and in large cities to get out now. Yes, the coronavirus is out and about, but if we will anoint our heads and continue to pray, if you read Psalms 91, the Lord God will protect you if you are staying near and dear to him, he will protect you of these viruses, guys. You need to have faith. You need to have faith to open the doors of your home. Anoint your front door, your back door, any other door now in Jesus' name. And in the blood of Jesus that he would protect your home. Ask him to help you to get it clear in your mind that you want to help serve the Lord and open up your homes, guys. Those of you that are in areas that are safer than the coastline, safer than these large cities. I love you. I've got to end this video for now. And bear with me. My videos are going to be less and less because I've got to take care of these tasks. I will get them out as soon as I can. I love you and I praise the Lord um, for your blessings and your donations. Thank you. And thank you guys so much for what you have done, those of you that have donated. I praise the Lord for what you have done to help me catch up on rent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for what you guys have done for Vivian. I praise the Lord for you. Thank you from Vivian's heart to mine. Amen.